we go. How's it, how's it, everybody? Welcome into the Paper Plane Inn. I'm Mikoda Nui, and thank you guys for coming back here again. How's it, how's it, everybody? Do you guys have a good day today so far? Today is Thursday, and it's um, getting a little bit colder as of late. I hope you guys actually bundled up in time for um, the upcoming colder mo months that's, up, uh, that's coming across the horizon. And were you speaking the other way? No, I forgot to turn my mic my microphone towards my direction again. So now my quality is a little bit better than how it was before. But yeah, it is actually so good to have you guys here today again. Today is Thursday, and I hope that you guys are do having a good day today so far. Let's see. Welcome into the paper plate and re uh, back. Welcome back, guys. Retro Fox, Re Reser Pala Knight, NPC Mook, Ice Drake. Welcome, welcome back, welcome back. It is so good to see you guys back here again. Well, um, okay. And it's close to December, and yes, November is pretty much right across. It, this November is pretty much over by the end of the, by the by the stroke of midnight. But yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, it's actually so good to see you. Oh, thanks for the head pat. I'll um pretend it's um we're in my vicinity, but. But yeah, thank you so very much. Um, today you get. Ow! Hey! Hmm. So, um, yeah, today we're actually gonna be doing ourselves a commission today where we actually get to go and, um, draw ourselves one of our many orders. And we're gonna be doing something that is for our client, JCD All Star. Where we're gonna be going straight to the podium as well as get ourselves into the paper plane inn, if you will. Okay, so there we go. I just remembered my jar is still a little bit on the full end, so why don't I actually go ahead and take care of that? So there we go. Give it a minute, you guys. Uh, it, it, it takes a while for it to um, actually load through. Oh, again, I have to log in. Okay. So, let's see. Miki, you are undeafen. Oh, oh, crap baskets. <laughs> there we go. I forgot to undeafen myself. There, there we go. Okay. That's better. Yep. So let's see. Let me go into my jar because I forgot to empty out uh, empty it out the other day. Ugh. There we go. And now the jar Much is better. empty, so it'll be ready for use for um for for uh, future other um, donations. And Foo, hi, welcome. All right. How's it going? I'm doing okay, ish. I'm, I think it's a, uh, um, I don't know what to actually describe it, but other than a feeling a bit of low energy-ish today, so. Mode. Understandable. Yeah. Same. It is I... Also, I think you're going into a tunnel. Am I? Uh, oh. Oh, re oh. Okay. Alright, guys, sorry, but I'm going into a tunnel. But, uh. You sounded kind of sad. Uh. So, guess what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I have started the uh, my uh, replaying of Cyberpunk 2077. Ah, uh, nice. Uh. It it's part of the reason why I'm going on hiatus in the first place. Gremlin! Hey. Yeah. Hello, Gremlin. You oh. sound tired. That's your man was tired. Aww. I know how you feel. Yeah. How's the... Huh. You keep said something in the lines of winter months. Well... That winter months actually make people tired more than usual. 
Ah, yes. It's the cold. Your body uses more energy retaining heat. Pretty much. Maybe you keep it out. I think I'll... How's come I was thinking of building a um, heater but, uh, later down the lake? No, no. We have... We have... Heating systems, Gremlin. I don't want anything that might... Why not? I don't want anything... The problem with heaters is they have a bad tendency of either catching fire or exploding. That's gonna be so much to do it, though. Gremlin, how about instead I give you chucky milk? How about that? Is it... How come I not hear this chucky milk? Yes. an old children's rhyme. I forget how it goes. Ah, ah. Oscar actually has a dentist in a while, so... Ada, ada. <laughs> we said, did I do it right? You did good, Gremlin. Ah. I agree. Oscar is not sure, though. Oscar's gonna try again. <laughs> Sounded like you were trying to start uh what's the word? Um a JoJo attack rush. <laughs> you did good, Gremlin. This one with, with, with. How come this picture is too big? What boy? What boy? Why, why is this picture too big? Explain! Did you send her like a, 4, 000, a 4K pixel image? No, he does not have small brain. Jesus. How can we believe you have big? Yeah. Uh, wait. So you have, so so um small head, small head, body, big brain. No. What? The government response that is not scientifically possible. No, I was referencing um Dylan Hollis. Uh, I think it's a bad idea for Inky for me to be linked with Innkeeper. We said. Hmm. Is it okay if, 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 if Hasgerman has Pepper Chucky? 
Pepper Chucky, what? That's no. That sounds horrible. That sounds. She she likes the Pepper Chucky. She, she does. I mean, oh, that's gosh. fine, Grimmin. I can, I can let you have the chocolate, but understand you're going to be very tired afterwards. I mean... It always happens. I mean... Has Grimmin has an idea? Okay, just understand that I will cast hold... What, do I have to cast hold, hold person or hold monster on you? I'm not sure which. Yes, 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 yes. All right. This might be a very bad idea, but I shall let you have the chalky. Okay. Ask him is good at the Okay. Ah. What the hell? What? Why? Why? What happened? Pepper chalky. I thought I thought you said she liked it. She does. I like the dried meat. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. What is happening? This is what happened. The house gremlin is taking is taking advantage of her empowered rage. <laughs> Basically, whenever somebody feeds it. Down now, Gremlin. Feeling tired. I did warn you. Now come on, <laughs> drink, drink your milk chocolate, and let's get you to your portable hole. It wasn't a bad idea, no. But as I said, I'm very tired and you need to go and sleep for a little bit. Aww. As Grimmin is going back, I suddenly like to vomit. Oh no! <laughs> is she gonna be okay? The Grimmin... <laughs> The Gremlin more than o does this more often than not, so. Oh my god! Oh my god, no! Yeah, you see, this is what happens half the time. The Gremlin loves her. Pepper Chalky, but it, it does send her into barbarian rage. But... But... I... <laughs> oh, that is not okay! Oh, okay! What happened? Who gave her the pepper chocolate? <laughs> was it me? She, she asked me very nicely if she could ha have it, and she used it to give herself a little bit of an energy boost. I think it kind of worked. Yeah, she actually vomited, and I'm so glad I got a bucket at that time when I'm on my way out. Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah. She'll be fine. She's just super tuckered. More than usual. Hmm. I guess that kind of 
goes for all of us of late. Yeah, yeah, it, it pretty much it does feel like that, in it. I guess it's just the cold weather taking effect, although back home it's actually... Hmm, it's back into the midst of summer over there, from what my parents tell me. Yep. I mean, when it's when it's winter uh, up here, it's summer down there. When it's winter down there, it's summer up here. Hmm. I must say, the only thing I'm a bit irritated about is just how long it takes for snow to settle in this specific part of the edge of southern Ontario. Like we've had very minimal snow. Hmm. I would actually love to see snow again if I could. Well, that. Th Despite how messy as it looks, the house gremlin did actually try her hardest to draw fast. Um, mm -hmm. somewhat. As it, I mean, credit where credit's due, she's tried. But her little body still could have handled the, um, the, both the rage and the spice. Now, um, uh, I, I cast a spice cleaning spell and give a blanket for the gremlin. You know what? Thank you for, kindly for that. Thanks. I think I may have to draw the um, the axe in a different, uh, into a different background. Maybe. You have the hair reference I provided too, right? Yes. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Because I'm only seeing the actual, like, main reference right now. Well, this is your character. I mean, yeah. if, if you actually want to talk about what your what this character is, you have my blessing. Since this is today's topic. Uh, I haven't I haven't had much chance to actually like, write him out. Oh, okay. But you did tell me that this guy is um that of a barbarian it like character, is he? Yes. Hmm. The main thing I have, like, narrowed down is that he's a totem warrior, and that he primarily uses a bear totem. Hmm. Let's see. Um. How does it feel to have an adopter daughter like figure like the gremlin? I. Maybe it kind of has something. It do doesn't really have vibes like that. I mean, di I mean, having the gremlin like that around is kind of like, um, um, it does evoke some level of protective feelings, especially when I see it around with Dave and Steve. And, um, what, when she's not being chaotic, she does actually still have some level of charm. Isn't that right? Wait, what? Sorry. When it comes to the house gremlin, despite that she has this chaotic energy vibe that she has with her, she still has some level of charm that actually helps counterbalance that. Yeah. I don't know how far we'll actually draw with it when it comes to this, but, um... I'll see how far I could go with this commission, because I'm really still feeling that low energy vibe um, coming off from me. Maybe that Oof. one might slightly change. It's just that, um, I spent last night staying up a little bit later than I should. Ah, uh, that's the reason. Hey, no, hold on, no. I'll have you know it's for a valid reason. I made muffins. I understand Oof. that, but unfortunately we're now in the, in, at the age where we unfortunately can't stay up uh, all that late without it affecting us the next day. <sighs> yeah, I'm aging sucks when it get when we get to a certain point. Make the most of your twenties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chat, chat. Um, those who actually are in their twenties, be it like in their early, late, or mid. I mean, I will say this route right now. Please relish your twenties. Please relish them. What? I know. I, I I know. I still do. I mean, uh, I. I mean, I still wish I could actually go back in some certain parts where I could actually- Oh! Oh! Leonard! Thank you so very much for the sub for eight months! Thank you! Thank you!
I'm in my late 20s, so too late. Well, it still kind of counts! It's the... Okay, hold on. This guy looks a little bit young in, in this one. Maybe I should definitely take a page out of your book and try to get, sleep at a better hour. It's just that um, my night owl tendencies is, is still very strong. Yeah, so am I. I mean, to be fair, but I do at least try and get to bed by 10 o'clock these days, at least when I'm expecting to work. Does it make, uh, does it, does it make a difference? Oh, it absolutely makes a difference. You feel far less fatigued throughout the rest of the day. Don't get me wrong, I hate it, but for some reason the only days that I struggle to get to sleep on time are the work days rather than on the weekends, you know, when I should actually be able to stay up late. Huh? I don't get it either. Definitely need to get myself into proper sleep. Maybe it's because uh, it, it also doesn't help that um, most of those nights when I would actually try to stay up so I could actually burn the midnight oil when it comes to work. And by work, I mean commission work. Mm, yeah. Then also um, other art pe artwork, if you will. Let's see. What, uh, personal stuff? Personal stuff, commission work, and especially when it comes to something I'm, I have some, I have planned into the horizon. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mickey up late, up late drawing? Well, actually, I didn't have, I didn't get to draw last night. I had the urge, but it just didn't, but, um... I think I kind of hit a little bit of an art block or something at that hour. So, I just actually spent last night trying to make muffins for Steve. Aww. Mm-hmm. But, I have been considering getting myself uh, in bed in time. It's just, again, pig-headed stubbornness has a w funny way of making me stay up longer than it should. <laughs> also, um, if I'm quiet, just know that I'm currently playing Cyberpunk right now. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, I want muffins. Believe me, I, I mean, believe me, if I could share them with you, I would. Especially since the kind of muffins we're talking here are the double chocolate chip muffins. I feel like there's a joke in there about sharing a muffin, but uh, either way. <laughs> Alright, I need to grab the hair reference right now. It's, um, Discord is taking a while for it to load, apparently. I hate that. <laughs> okay, is it another big file, though? I hope that's not the case. Should actually be able to tell you the file size. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, um, this is pay no attention to this. This is um this is all the references when it comes to making my commission work for the body line work, if you will. I'm missing out. Oh, come on. I, I, like, I, 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 hmm. By the way, um, you never actually told me what kind of race this character is. What? Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, he's just a human. Okay, so, um. Let me see what I can actually do with this hairstyle of his. Normally, when it comes to doing um, my work, my commission work for um, streaming, I would usually have a, pic, um, a sketch done in time before we actually do the inkings and bunch. <laughs> I apologize again that this is not one of those case. This is not that case. You good, Mickey? Okay.
I'm gonna have to draw the hair first. I'm planning to make chocolate chip muffin, chocolate chip cookies in a muffin pan. Wait, how will that actually work out? I mean, <laughs> cookies are usually in uh, are usually in a uh, laid out in a, in a flat surface, so. I mean, in theory, you could pull it off as long as you don't actually fill them with the... As long as you only fill them with the necessary amount of uh, baking content for actual cookies. Yeah? Just just make damn sure that you apply non-stick spray onto it before you put it in there. Otherwise, you're going to have a hell of a time getting those cookies off of the damn thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's... um. It's cookie cups, Mickey. Oh, okay. Cookie cups? Mm-hmm. So I've good. actually not heard of those. Sound good, though. Not gonna lie. Oh, okay. Um, redeeming a jar. Okay, so... There we go. I found my die. So, one is Dave, two is JC, three is Foo, four is I turn to a plushie and I get, um... Get into the jar. Mm. Oh, okay. My die decided to go inside my glove. Uh, on a... Uh, that? On an, on... Sorry, Dave. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Any last words? Uh, nothing in particular, but I will continue with what it was saying. Is It finally occurred to me that my... Uh, Amazon Echo functions as a Bluetooth, uh, what was that? Oh. Uh, uh, functions as a Bluetooth speaker, meaning I can hook it up to the switch to play audio for it when it's plugged in. Interesting. <sighs> also, also don't mind me, as, as this is going on, I'm also, I'm also getting hit with nostalgia. Fair enough. Muffin wrap in the holes of the muffin pan to help prevent sticky and burnt dough of the pan itself. Ah. Oh, yeah. And I did actually go out and, go out and buy a one terabyte card, which was on a Black Friday sale. So I oh, now have an SD so card. Cool. For me, um, I will say, oh, speaking of parts, I will say this right now, chat. Um, it was a long time actually getting the parts together. But I am down to like, uh, but, um, I got like four parts waiting for me to, uh, waiting for, um, that are on their way into my, into my place. And, cause so far I got the, um, let me go take a good look at the box again. Ah, okay. So, I got myself the, um, the video card, um, the processor, the memory, and um, the motherboard that, that I actually got so far. And the rest is actually on their way here. Although, when I was getting myself parts from a for parts and waiting for um, the big sale days like Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I managed to get myself um, a good chunk of the parts Except for the case um, in, in, in Cyber Monday, because when I tried checking for it, it was sold out. Like, I, I got myself all these organs, but I don't have a body to put them into. There's an innuendo in there. I mean, I, I mean, am I not, am I wrong though? I mean, no, you're not. Uh, you do need a case that could support all of them, as well as somebody who can build it. But I think that part's already been sorted, you said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got... I mean, it's kind of a big surprise that um, we actually have... There, there, there actually is a relative in Steve's family that actually is knowledgeable enough to put parts together. But... Um, we're pretty much gonna wait, wait until he's actually well enough to see if he can actually do it. Because by well enough, I mean like, I don't know. Getting himself free from COVID. Oof. Yep, so I'm gonna have, 
We're gonna have to wait until he's a okay to um try a little bit try a bit li little later down the line. That's fair. I'm still waiting on a couple of weeks for my graphics card to get delivered, and then I can take it to the computer shop to but, get it installed. But you know, it is actually a good thing Casey actually recommended me to get the graphics card before um Black Fr before the events like Black Friday and Cyber Monday, cause um. I don't know about you guys because when I checked the prices on graphics on the graphics card that I got, um, it shot itself up to three hundred ish dollars. Compare the day I bought it for around two hundred seventy ish bucks. I would have on Black up, Friday. Interesting. I would have hacked up a lung in that day if I could. If I would. I'm pretty <sighs> sure that would also be Ill outright illegal in some parts of the world. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is true. Miki is too being of for hentai games. They're the real hentai is for, uh, now. Hold okay, Retro Fox. Now see here, I'll have you know that I also ha um played my fair share of hentai games. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that that combination in a word. I'll s now I'll have you know that I absolutely am lewd. <laughs> Absolutely not wrong. I am I am on a very precarious balance between being say so and lewd. Yeah, I mean I made a shit post picture that is based in this um phenomenon. You see this? Okay, that is basically me trying to balance between two different mediums. It's not easy as it looks. Although my most likely lady I mean, I'm not... is much more leaning it towards the lewd side. Eh. Yeah, so, yeah, so I was hey, about you know to what say, the funniest I, part is? I was about to say, you you have something hanging off the edge of the lewd side. I can't side. be say so even if I tried. <laughs> you have something very specific that you bought recently hanging off the lewd edge. No, hold on a minute! Look, hey, no! That's it! That wasn't it! I did <laughs> yeah. And as the person who warned you, I will have no mercy. Gonna get large again in B Bad Dragon standards. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong though? <laughs> hmm. I think this arm is slightly fucking with me a little bit because it doesn't look right. Oh. It's. I don't know how much of it's the arm. It's you mean the arm holding the axe, right? Yep. Might be the hand itself rather than the arm. Oh, oh! I think also it might be the fact that the bracer is covering up like the whole arm and relation, lower arm in relation to the upper arm. The upper arm to lower arm positioning seems a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Uh. I'm also seeing it too, and I don't even like. What if that bad oh. dragon thing? It reminds you of a... no, no, boy, Splatty. The one I'm talking about is the fur bulge. You know, the one where it's a mistake to actually taunt, ch um, taunt chat to see if they can actually meet that goal, and then I'll add that into the throne, and then suddenly chat um takes a while for it until they get the strength to actually fun for that goal, leaving me completely flat. Again, I don't know why. I specifically warned you this would happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you warned me. You warned me. No, it does not vibrate. It's not that kind of dick. <laughs> <laughs> that costs extra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And... I will say this: getting it on a large is a is a mistake and a half. No, it's two <laughs> mistakes. It, it's it's like two, maybe three mistakes at best. Because um, I told myself that I mean, large can't be that extremely um, it can't be that extreme. Boy, was I proven wrong when it's uh when I finally got that. Because the um. The friends from the Breakfast Club uh, actually saw this happening when they uh, when we unboxed it, 
And good lord, that is not even a dick. That's more of a club. And such, I, I, I mean, it's much more of a trophy dick. <laughs> and it's kind and I'm- Mickey's and it's, conquest trophy. I just, I just love the emphasis on the word dick there. <laughs> I can't fucking deal with this shit. <sighs> you know what you signed up for when you joined the inn. This oh, oh yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, I, I I don't regret it one bit. Welcome to the Paper Plane Inn, where we serve um dirty jokes, d dirty jokes, house gremlin shenanigans, and screaming. How would you like your order to be? Okay, so let's see. Oh, I forgot his pants. Oh, fuck. Nate? That's, that's Raid Boss. So, you know that, that nostalgia thing I was talking about? Yeah? I'm playing an open client of Fusion Fall. Oh. Yeah, this was like... This was like my jam back when it was like active, like officially active. I, um... So I can't wait to actually play my own nostalgia games when I finally got uh, my new PC. That, that is Don Doom. I remember this fucker. Oh god, I don't want to deal with him right now. No thank you. Yeah, I'm personally looking forward to seeing what Mickey gets up to with the new games. But I will say this. Um, going back to the previous topic about hentai games. Like, I mean, if I... I, as much as I want to play those games so you guys can actually see the experience, that's something I'll have to make a different account for me to do, um, a different platform for me to do for in order to, for everyone to see that. Process. Yeah, <laughs> that is not right. something for Twitch. No, I mean I'll also have you know that I actually wanted to um, do some co um, reading aloud when it comes to some comics that I actually like. I mean. I would love to do a reading aloud on for, on Sun uh, on the two comic series that I love, Sunstone and Fine Print. But um, I'll, it's the the caveat is that they're mature romance comics, and by mature, mm -hmm. I mean yeah, it really does lean into a little bit of the, the adult section there. So, yeah, even if I do want to, I may have to figure out a different platform for me to actually do that or something. Right. What kind of hentai games, Mickey? There are plenty of those that will break you. I mean... I, um... I don't know how to properly explain this. A reminder, we're... <laughs> a reminder that we're on Twitch, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 I, I, um, I think I'll explain that a little bit later, uh, 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 or something down the line. I don't know. <laughs> no rush. Obviously. Wait. All right. Mm. Okay, so... Actually, there was, there is something I just realized that I could talk about with, um, Javen here. Okay. Uh, you know how totem warrior barbarians pretty much have, like, something connecting them to their totem? Yeah. What is it usually? Um, it will usually be a part, or so, or uh, um, or maybe it's just me, like a a totem that is a shape of the animal that they're associated with. Well, with Javen, it's nothing like that. His totem is actually his weapon. Huh? He's gonna beat motherfuckers over the head. <laughs> <laughs> no, his totem is the axe. Because it houses because it houses a, a bear spirit inside of it. Oh. Speaking of axe, oh god damn it! It's another fat one. What? I tried open. I tried copying the um the image from Discord so I could actually place um paste it into Clipsidio Paint, but it's a little bit oh, too right. for that. Oh yeah. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay, but at the same time, why? I did. 
didn't, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I'm, I'm a native. I'm a native making a P. I mean, I need help making a PNG tuber. I know how to draw. I'm actually drawing right now. I need, I need help with the actual setup though. Um. Welcome to the Paper Plane Inn, Wolf Will. Um, I know this is usually a little bit off. That's a little bit of an. Uh, that's a good question. It's a little bit outside of the main topic, but um, when it comes to PNG tuber avatars, you would actually have to make sure the se the faces are set are set in a separate layer compared to the rest of the body. I think, if anything, I may have to op make a, um, a proper tutorial on how I actually make my own PNG tuber avatar, so that way, um, folks will actually take a page out of that or something. That and also when you have, um, when you created a PNG tuber avatar, you have two other options. You can use Reactive Fu Fugi to, um, to get, uh, to get your, um, avatar so sorted for, uh, for a PNG tuber avatar, or that uses Discord, mind you. Or you could actually um, use PNG tube, um, P um, Vito Tube, if you will, which is um, w which is the program I've been using for my PNG tuber avatar. All right, let me go and see if I can get that axe. Okay, okay. I see Cedric cackling manically off in the distance. <laughs> He's responding. Apparently, monks are getting their their resource pool name changed. Apparently, it was key, and now it's being changed to DP. I'm sorry. His exact, what? His exact word. His exact words. Quote. Can't wait to get DP every short rest. <laughs> um. Wait. Hold on. Is this regard? Is it changing key to what? What? What is the? Where? Oh, I'm I, I imagine it's probably supposed to be something like Dharma points or whatever the name of they've decided um, for monks. Um. Oh, it pro it's probably dice points, isn't it? I think so. Wait, what is this from the new Arnaz Arcana that came out recently? I haven't the faintest. I just saw him post it just now and another discord and i find this hilarious hmm. let's see i'm new to streaming oh well that's good i hope that you actually had a good um congratulations on getting new to streaming really let's see I'm not normally weapons is not my forte when it comes to designing them, but I'm gonna try my best. Uh, well, it's a good thing there's a reference, right? Yep. Otherwise, this would be way too much. It would. It it definitely would. Oh, there was someone here I needed to talk to this entire fucking time. Wow. Okay, so... So, is anyone here actually familiar with Fusion Fall? Um... No, not really. I'm sorry. First time ever hearing the name. It's... It was basically... A Cartoon Network-themed MMO. Yeah, that explains it. I have very little... The I think the only two MMOs I've ever actually played were World of Warcraft and World War II Online. And World War II Online is not even an MMO, it's an MMFPS. Okay. This is not my best when it comes to drawing the axe. This is really <laughs> not my best. But I'm trying. <laughs> Take your time. Trying, One iteration and I very much appreciate time. the effort. Like, believe me, you have no idea how much I've been waiting for something like this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I've been waiting to get something like this for, like, over a year. Oh. Uh, I, I, can, I can feel him vibrating from over here. Shut up. <laughs> Let's 
Let's see. I know what type of weapon Miki is good at drawing. <laughs> Bruh, come on! If you played Resident Evil 4 and know the ballistics, then you know what I mean. I actually don't. This, this thing is flying over my head. <laughs> I don't think... Sh Have you ever played a Resident Evil? No. Ah, interesting. Hmm. Honestly, that might be another... Alright, how about Fairbanks? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, okay. <clears throat> how's it, how's it, um, Fairbanks? Welcome to the paper plate in. It's actually good to see you here. Uh, am I missing something here? Um, yeah. I um, Fair Fairbanks is another v is another VTuber who actually um designs his own. I mean, designed their own model, and they actually um, and they're actually pretty good at it. Jump oh. scare? I mean, do you, hey, I mean, uh, uh, it's. Um, you know, I'm actually super surprised, you know? I, I, I'm actually <laughs> really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> She's merely honored that you have graced us with your presence. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm also known as the, <laughs> the death by Snoo Snoo guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, seriously, wow. Fairbanks is the one who actually designed that meme. Oh my god. Okay, so let's see. What do you I'm not sure to give you congratulations or condolences. <laughs> I mean, look, okay, I'll have you, okay, look, look, I'm gonna go find the meme right now. I'm gonna go find the meme right now. So you got, um, so you guys will have an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay? G g give me okay. a minute. I Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Where is it? 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 No, no, no. It's not in this place. It's not there. It's not there. Okay. I I know where it is. Just give me a minute. I I bear with me. There. Okay. I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay. I found it. I found it. Goodness gracious. Okay. Okay, Miki, calm down. I'm fine. I I'm fine. I'm just um. Okay. This. Is what I'm talking about here. This, this, this link is a little bit old, but I'm sure it still works. Yep, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Please send help. I can't escape. Oh. Oh. That. I told oh, you. Oh shit. I told you. I told. Oh. Fuck. Oh, you're in the jar still. Hold on. Let me get you out of there. Your mother. Uh. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Please help. I can't escape it. Well, Fairbanks, you actually designed a really good meme that is kind of go down in history. Death by Snoo Snoo. Death by Snoo Snoo. I mean, I could actually think of a few characters of mine who could actually have that kind of, um, cycle. I don't know. <laughs> I mean... No, I'm gonna keep that to myself. <laughs> yeah, don't, hey, Fairbanks! I mean, I mean, come on, you're all... Oh, crap. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Well! Well, you know. Well, you, you, you know, Mikoto, there's always... There's always Roki, and... I'm kidding. Uh, um, oh, I'm sorry, fellas, but I'm going into a tunnel. Oh, oh boy. Gremlin time is coming back. Yeah. The gremlin time is approaching. Yeah. Okay. Gremlin time. When the land will be overrun not with Skaven, but with gremlins. Welcome back, Gremlin. Are oh, you yeah? feeling energized? After my nephew's better! After my nephew's Yay! Better. Uh -huh. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Also, Haskell did not steal the toilet paper this time. What do you <laughs> mean, this time? Haskell, uh, I mean. Uh, remember once upon a time, Haskell replaced toilet paper with toilet paper, Mimi? 
Oh. Our, our yes. Oh. oh no. <laughs> this time, has been, yeah. uh, has come and has now replaced them with something else, though. What oh, do you mean? No. <laughs> what did you do? Colored paper. Colored paper. Colored paper? From the Arts and Crafts store. Why? G Gremlin, that is not safe to use. Why not? Have you ever got a paper cut back there? <laughs> Didn't that's, think so. That's gonna be done at me, Fuggy. No! That's awful! Gremlin, how could you? Why would you do that? Who did that? Who? Who pillow tossed? Who did that? <laughs> I have words. <laughs> well, how Who did that? Huskerman needs a toilet paper anyway. Well, Why do you need toilet paper? To test it with tab. I was gonna say, I mean, I hope they wipe their ass. Huskerman <laughs> would put, would put some back if you, after she used a certain amount. It's testing experimenty. Huskerman is not using the yep. dish delight this time. So you so don't wipe. Why? So you don't wipe your ass. Ask her my oh. ass. You sure? Yes. You sure you wipe your ass? Yes. You have, you have, you have a stinky asshole, don't you? What the fuck? Can we not? <laughs> Can yeah, we not, please? please? I just, I'm eating nachos right now. <laughs> that sucks for you. I don't know what to tell you. Like, can't like legit. Please don't say shit like that. That is Wait, really. It's, uh, poison Mary Chucky. Oh, what? Poison? Oh, Boyson. Sorry, I thought you said poison. Poison berry. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. How's Gabby likes taste? How's Gabby actually wait. likes taste of how oh, poison berry? Eh, eh, wait, 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 uh, Wait, what? This is this is why I keep people mage hand in my spell book from now on. <coughs> what happened you to her? Have? Ah, ah. She's floating. Eh. I'm not in ceiling again. Gremlin, get off the ceiling. No. <laughs> get off the ceiling. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Alright, girl. Oh god. Where are you, Gremlin? How come this Gremlin is weird? Okay, I'm getting the Chalky Milk drink. You come drink the Chalky Milk from the Mage Hand. Never! <laughs> are you sure about that? We add that to the list. Boysenberry reverses her gravity. Okay. Excuse me. Are you back to normal? Yes, 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 yes. Of course, my now feels better. Good. When the, when someone comes into Ian, who has been drawing? Uh, uh. Oscar has not been drawing dicks in ceiling. What? That's what they said. Why is Blackie said so in chat? Oh. Eh! Ah, okay, it's time for me to go back. Fearbook King is um is red is coming back soon. Also, wizard. Gremlin. Wizard. Yes, Gremlin. Don't be mad. Don't be mad about what? I stole a couple of pages from book. What? What? Oh, oh. I'm, gonna check, I'm gonna check that spell book. Uh. What'd you take? The spell book. What do you think she took? <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least she only took a couple pages and not the whole damn thing, right? The whole book might be a few pages given in that it's a subclass wizard. 
Uh, well, apparently the gremlin took a couple bo uh, pages from uh, the wizard's book. What? And not, and not figuratively either. Um, that's 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 terrible, isn't it? That's a terrible. Uh, okay, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> Do we know, like, if I'm not mistaken, we are aware that the gremlin is innately magical, but the question is, can she wield it well? Well, I don't know. When someone. I mean, did she did she exhibit some level of prowess after someone gave her, I don't know, um, a Turkish delights? That actually increases her intelligence, and next thing I know, she built this tab, which she refuses to tell me what it is. Yeah. She has... She built a what? We don't know what it is. It's a device she keeps calling the tab. That's all we, we know. We don't know what it is. It's the concerning. Tab. Yes, I, I am as confused as you. I, uh... Okay! Sounds weird. Yeah, you missed out a no. lot of lore yes. stuff that happened in the Paper Plane Inn. Clearly. <laughs> yes, that is a I distraction, a... Fairman! <laughs> okay, well... Uh, look, maybe once we go into an intermission, we'll take a good look at what happened, what she took from the spell book. That's also... probably a good idea. Good evening, Mickey. I haven't... Huh. I just came in here... Finished my game for the night. How's I got another one in an hour. Well, did it turn out pretty good, or...? Very good, actually. Um, did my first combat session with them. And we had no fatalities. Hey, close. We were close, now. though. Oh, boy. They were a level one party. Oh, holy shit. And one of them has got one shotted. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's not okay. It was the bard. Oh, wait a minute. Hold oh, on. Oh, no, not the bard. What did Jeff the Dragon said? Sorry, what? I'm sorry. What did the boysenberry do? I think boysenberry chocolate kind of, um, wait, check, clean the ceiling again and clean the ceiling again. What did she have yeah. to do? Yeah! Okay! Apparently, the gremlin, when eating boysenberry, reverses their gravity. It just said, eat my shorts and Sylvan! Wait, what? Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I love you. Wait, I'm how do you know how to clean that Sylvan? up later? Huh? There's what did I miss? Sylvan. Yeah, um, the gremlin seems to have more unusually unusual abilities when ingesting coca. Um, coca? No! As well, in coca no, no, chocolate, to be exact. Okay, JC, and those who are actually new and unfamiliar to the chat, um, the house gremlin, which you actually saw just now, um, has this weird tendency that, um, depending on what kind of chocolate you gave her, it gives her certain kinds of effects. And we go from the most harmless of them all is when she's given milk, uh, is when she's given chocolate milk, which actually reverses these effects. But the most common effects that one sees from the house gremlin is... Okay, where do I ask? Where do I actually start? Let's see. Um, hmm. Do we actually have a list of this, though? I, Sorry. I actually wish I did keep a list of my, about this, but, well, certain things kind of, um... But I think I'll try to... No, I think I'll try to... I think I'll try to remember this in the top of my head. <clears throat> yep. Gum or gum chocolate would actually help... Uh, gum or gum chocolate makes her float. Um, white chocolate reverses her speech. Dark chocolate makes us her voice deeper. Caramel makes her <laughs> large. Mint chocolate makes her small. And let's not talk about the forbidden chocolates. Peppa. Yeah, pe pepper chocolate is something um where I want where I really hope she doesn't destroy the egg even more than she should. Essentially, um, in in layman's terms, they go into an uncontrollable rage. Turkish delights 
increases her intelligence for a certain time. If she, and it also gives her one level into Artificer. I'm the list keeper you know here. You know what? And I appreciate it, Jexo. I am really, really appreciate it. Oh, there's also the most unique one, Starfruit Chocolate. Which allows her to actually grant wishes. Only one, though. Yeah. It's like summoning the Eternal Dragon. <laughs> I mean, I asked for knowledge for figuring out what they are, and they just gave me a permanent plus two in intelligence. <laughs> Well, no, I will say this. Do whatever you do, do not. <laughs> whatever you do, do not throw anything into the house gremlin when she's in wish mode. Mm-hmm. I see. If I wanted to be e rude, I would have responded with something like, "You now have a two in intelligence." <laughs> I I feel insulted when the gremlin did that. <laughs> I mean. I'm already quite. There you go. I'm sorry. I mean. Are we wrong? Oh, who just popped in? Honey! Like... Hello! Hey! In the boy! Of course. I'm okay. Oh, well, House Gremlin kind of did a th th thing or two again. What'd you do? She She's... tore two pages out of my spellbook. Which ones? I don't know yet. <laughs> Great. And not just that, she she took all the toilet paper and replaced it with colored paper. Wait, did we I, even tell you that, or did you just figure like, that out on your own? I figured it out like, when I'm on my, on my way back! Wait, like construction paper? Yes. Why? I don't know! She said she wanted to use it for a project! For the tab, according to her! I... <laughs> okay, we need to do a serious investigation into what the fuck this tab is. I don't know. <laughs> I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think with just the name. It's a fucking drink tab. I also just think it's some type of weapon of fade destruction. Uh, do we really want to? Do, do we really want to tempt fate with that? I mean, just in case. Um, who stockpiled almonds and cold iron? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Don't worry, I don't have either. Because, remember, I'm fey. I'm affected by cold iron. I do. Would it be wrong for us to investigate the gremlin tab? I mean, you're not entirely wrong, because this has been an, a thing that she mentions back and forth a few months, and I tried. Lord no, gods knows I tried to actually look into the shed where she keeps it but even then she wouldn't let me allow anyone any one of us to go anywhere near it yeah i'd be happy to try and take a look but i'm not a rogue i'm not a lock i can't pick locks i mean i'm okay but usually my way of getting in somewhere where someone doesn't want me to get into it is an alternate route via explosives I mean, brute force is very efficient. Just not in the long term. <laughs> I mean, let's. Uh, if. <laughs> may not be a rogue, but hey, there's another way you can. There's another way you can pick a lock. Yeah? If you're referring to knock, she'll automatically know and relock it. The lock is on the inside. No, I'm talking break the lock. As I said, the lock is on the inside. Look, I've tried that. Look, I will say this. The last okay, time then I... break the door. I will say this. The last time I tried going into um the shed, I got home alone. What? Wait, hey, like a paint bucket? Listen, no. Like, I tried entering. I tried taking a step forward. And I fell into a large ass pit. <laughs> she came out covered in feathers. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Were you like tar and feather then? Yeah? Yes. And it made me realize, yeah, no, the no investigation is worth this. So I just decided to just turn away for now. I, whatever the oh. gremlin has in has in mind, yeah, whatever 
Well, I'd say it's tar, but it's more like she used syrup instead. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's... that's... Uh... But yeah, it, say in D&D &D terms, would you reckon the TF2 spy would fit as a rogue? Oh, obviously! Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, as an, adept, as an assassin rogue, no contest. Because here's the thing. Hmm. Assassins have an, a, don't only, only, not only have the assassinate ability, but also the ability to spend two weeks to ha uh, gain a new identity. Combine that with the proficiency in the disguise kit. Yeah, he's pretty much set in that department. I also would think I also want to go the extra mile and put make him as a changeling. I was gonna just oh, yeah. like weirdly enough. Um, I was thinking mastermind rogue, but yeah, your explain explanation goes is a lot better. Uh, let's see. Also, hmm? there's an, another item. Um, not an official one, but um, I feel like you would know this one, Steve. Um, if it comes up, the second chances. What? Second chances. Can't say I'm familiar. Helianas. I haven't taken the time to read that until I get a physical copy. Oh, I've read read it. Yet. I do, but I've decided not to uh, fully read into it uh, until I get a physical copy. That way, I can discover everything that way. Yeah, okay. I mean, there's so something I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything then. There's something about having a physical copy of the book is um there's a charm in behind that and jesus christ okay i just wait a minute okay 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 i was going to panic for a minute there because and thought oh mickey were you drawing in the wrong layer again no i will hop uh. Oh. Right. <laughs> God damn it, Steve! You fucking baby on now. Maybe one of us should take Gremlin to D Disney World and distract, and half of us will investigate the tap. I don't know. I don't. That's know. a bad idea. That is a I mean, terrible not idea. <laughs> it is a terrible idea. The Do Gremlin really to Disneyland. Think? Yeah, the Gremlin of Disneyland not, will be disaster. I do not want to be responsible for that much of collateral damage. We're lucky to keep her contained within the inn. Yeah. And it's around the village. I don't know. I was going to say they're a Keter class entity. If we put them in, well, MP, SCP standards, they are a Keter. I don't know. I mean, um... Gremlin still has a way when it comes to um when it comes to going into other places outside of the inn, and she has a way on messing peep messing those people when they're when she's at it. Just look at reviewer. <laughs> I mean, just ask reviewer. Hey. hey. I mean in. I mean, um, Revere has a uh, has a redeem in his um, Streamlets cards where he where someone would actually summon the House Gremlin and House Gremlin kind of throws herself at uh, at the Revere and hitting him. Oh. Yep. She's literally a face hugger in that instance. No. <laughs> no. No. I just put the image of them flying to them. It's funny. Somebody who actually made clips about that. I would need to. What? I would like to know where they are, please. Okay. So. While today wasn't a hard day, it was a taxing day. A whole lot of bullshit I had to deal with. Yeah. Well, um, I'm glad that you're cup you're gonna be coming home soon. And later tonight we're gonna have a ourselves um garlic honey lemon chicken tonight, okay? Babe? Yeah. You heard that what we're, what we're gonna have for um tonight's dinner, right? Yeah, I'm a chicken, right? Mm-hmm. Yay. Good. You two are so perfect for each other, I swear. Yeah, agreed. 
By the way, um, how is this so far? Um, how is this so, so far for you? We're going for it a little bit on the rough. Um, this is a little bit um rough inks for now. But, oh, that is beautiful so far. But this will be refined later down the line. Yeah. Gremlin bites the reviewer. Uh, no. More like she just yeets, yeets herself and, um, and, uh, yeets herself and, uh, yeets herself and hit him, hit him in the process. I mean, she finds it funny that way. Yeah. Ha, I am a master of fusion fall parkour. Mm. I Game, but I do know this much. As soon as I get home, I'm going to just get out of my work clothes, sit on the couch, and do something. I don't fucking know because I have not had a chance to properly decompress all week. It's just Play been nothing division. but DD games. Play Division. I was. Why Division? Huh, I thought some people were playing now. Yeah, I know. Like. Like, I was uh, about to say, why Division, though? I mean, it was either that or Dark Tide, so... Oh. <sighs> Alright, I am trying my best to make sure the... Um, I don't know what to, what's the proper name for this, but I'm gonna try to make sure it looks just right, and... Make sure the pick is also just right there. Oh. You know, with a character design like him, like 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 what he has right now, he would actually make a good um fit to the upcoming D and D campaign that um that that's on the horizon that Steve and I are a part of. Viking oh. one. The Viking one, yeah. Hey. hey. Except that um. This game takes place in the mornings because we got people who live in the other side of the globe who um only make it in that certain amount of time. Oh, Seven a.m. No. Yeah. Wait, so oh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to make it then. Shit. Sorry. Damn. No, Wait, you're man. fine, but shit, that is such unfortunate like, timing. That is like midday for us. Like, damn. <sighs> like, well, that's what happens when you have. Uh, uh, when you're playing with Asians who are over on the other side of the world. Not, Fair enough. Not just Asians, honey. We also got um, Kiza lives in uh, Kiza lives uh, lives um in, in the it lives in Europe. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I like Europa. Yeah, I, I know Kiza. Kiza, both Kiza and Azura are Europeans. We got you and me who are Texans, and then got a. I think the rest of them are American. Be much. But we still need to figure out uh, when it comes to the um, when it comes to the stat system that Azura um, brought to the table. Yeah, that one's uh, well. It's it was a neat idea. I'm just trying to figure out how to make it work. Me too. I mean, some of the stats that that that, that we rolled and placed into the table, you know. If I think I figured at least I got an idea what I'm doing. Me, not so much. Okay, oh, so... context. Oh, Wait, Azura's in this game? Yeah, Azura's in mm -hmm. this game because oh. um, she joined in with us when uh, back in the early days of the Dirty Deeds campaign. Oh, yeah, I remember. Like, hmm. when, like, I was actually quite confused then because, like, you said she was European, I thought she was British. She is. is it? Oh, it's yeah, a she... European, despite what Brexit is trying to tell you. Yeah. Ah, point. You do have a fair point there, that's on my end. Because... the Our government. Let's not get into that here. I'm not going to. I'm just... That's it. Alright. Let's just say it's a crappy situation and move on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whole world's going to hell, really. Every generation says that. Well, it's true. I mean, with all the shit that's been going on lately, yeah. But anyway, let's 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 focus on better things. Like, yes. 
Madam Mercy actually brought up a good question. Everyone's thoughts on cross-platform saves finally coming to Warframe. Can choose either to jump across multiple profiles and devices and merge them all into a single um, shared profile. That... Oh, that actually would Thank be you. so beneficial. That's so... Like, that's pie-in-the-sky tier stuff, but yes, please. It would be very useful. I mean, I... I just just t talking about that makes me want to play Warframe again. It's just that I'm a little bit shit, uh, anxious and doing um, playing a little bit solo, but because I don't have much. Um, well, I don't even know what the rest of the Warframe crew ha um, schedule is looking. Mm -hmm. Well, I will say for the um, story missions, you will need to be playing solo, so there is that. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling you also want uh, some commentator from some of the uh, vets. Mm hmm. <laughs> which, which I can now say that I am not. That game has all but completely fallen off my radar. Yeah. Despite the amount of time I've put into it. It's just, I, I can still enjoy it, like with friends and such. I just can't enjoy it by myself anymore. You know, right. Fair. Game's a bad with friends. Absolutely. Like, it's so much better when you actually have other people to play with you. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. This thumb is screwing with me a little bit. I mean, it looked good on paper, but... Heh, <laughs> paper. And you know, going back on that previous topic about um, the TF2 spy as a D&D class, it actually brought a good question about um, about an upcoming project I want to do in the Horizon, and that's taking the D&D mm -hmm. and that's taking the the rest of the uh, the TF2 classes and put them as D&D classes. That thing is still mm -hmm. um, something I need to work on, but you know. It's something I really want to uh, make it work. Spy is obviously yeah. e easily done. Scout is also easily done. He's just a rogue scout. The mm -hmm. apple doesn't fall far I... from this tree. Yeah. Actually, I was going to argue that instead of a, a, a scout uh, scout rogue, he's actually a thief. Thief? Elaborate. Hmm. Here's the thing. Thieves are uh, uh, not only make great thieves, they also make for uh, speedy hit-and-run characters. Not only do they get a climbing speed that's equal to their movement speeds, such as scaling walls and such, which, while you can't double jump in the game, you can uh, actually get a, um, a climbing speed. And if you want to solve that, he's human. Just go in and give him, uh, give him the magic initiate for a spill set that gives him the jump spell. Hmm. I mean, that's actually really good. Um, hmm. Although, if that's also the case, what would the heavy be? Like, every time I think of heavy, I think of barbarian. I also think of him as Goliath, too. Definitely a Goliath. I will uh, agree with that one. Yes. As but... for what he is, I actually have something a little bit goofy in mind. Alright. A battlesmith. Ba oh. Battlesmith? Hmm. Okay, explain! Okay, I would like to hear this explanation. Here's the thing. Is he strong? Yes. Is he hardy? Yes. But here's the thing about him. He also has, has a, uh, a degree in Russian literature, so he's smart. The one thing bad about him is his dex, his speed. Dex is your shooting skill. So how do you counter that? Intelligent. You shoot a lot. Intelligence. Mm -hmm. You use intelligence as his skill. And he's not the best shooter. Because uh, he's only really good when it comes at close range. But that mimics the fact that his primary skills are his con and his strength. Not his dex. Ah, okay. Yeah. I can. So he, I, I could see him instead as maybe, perhaps, as a fi uh, fighter multi-class, specifically perhaps the 
Mm, let me think. Because he's got a... He'll have a decent amount of charisma. He's got a decent amount of... His wisdom is a little on the lower side, but not bad. So probably something like a 10. He's intelligent enough to go through college, so it's above a 10. His charisma is also above a 10. His dex is in the tank, but his strength and his con, his ability to tank damage, is bar none the best. So how do you do, do that? You get, uh, make him a, hum uh, a goliath, which makes him, uh, which can take more punishment than most of the other class, uh, other races, because of Stone's endurance. You powerful Bill, which allows him to carry Sasha. Yes. And on top of all that, give him a big old health pool because of levels in fighter and levels in art uh, in artificer. Giving him also access to a couple of other things, such as his shotgun, if you so choose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I was thinking, like, Artillerous because of Sasha, but when you think about it, Sasha could be the, the like, the Steel Defender. Or that it could. could be, it could also be the bear, a bear as well, too, because he does have his, um... What's that? What's the cosmetic called again for the bear skin? The bear necessities. I... <laughs> or wait, what? 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 Wait, what skin? What? Well, the cosmetics for the back, the back kit. Yeah, because heavy so, does have that in his um inventory. Right. Yeah, but... uh, yeah. The. The 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 bear pelt, is called, like that he wears like around his head. It's called the bear necessities. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, I was only thinking now... that because, yeah, like it's not his best kit, but still. It would go with flavor. Oh, no, I will say this much. The, the the demo man would be similar to the heavy, but much more in uh, but he would be an artillerist. He's much more into the explosives. Yes. Although I feel like this is also an interesting one. Um he could also be a pretty good um monk. Like hear me out, hear me out. Okay. Trump star. A drunken master is meant for dealing with multiple opponents at once with their fists. Uh, uh, he, they won't get access to a claymore by that point, my friend. Uh, he like, needs that proficiency. Like, isn't or that demo part? knight. Isn't like I was going to say the demo knight part because like if like if there's one option that you can't do if you can't play artillerist, then play into oh, like a very fighter or yeah, play into like something like a very high dex fighter. Of demo guard. Um, That's a oh, blast the yeah. Oh yeah, that is a blast from the past, isn't it? <laughs> okay, yeah, here it is. That here was is. a very um, Irish demo man. Um, the reason why I say this is because of the optional feature of dedicated weapon. So he could have a great sword as a monk. And no, it, it can't. No, he can't. Hey, it can't be a two-handed. It can't be a claymore. It can't be a glaive. It can't be a heavy weapon. Um, Claymores are out. classified as heavy weapons. Oh, um, it's supposed like it says here, uh, it must lack the heavy or special properties. Fair enough. Exactly. Damn. Yeah, best you what can about get the away Persian with persuader? this. That's not a that's not a two handed weapon. That's a scimitar, but basically mm -hmm. any long sword is the biggest you can get away with because that would be counted as versatile. Exactly. Okay. Demonite felt like a paladin, according to the Jexa Dragon. Hmm. That could work. Huh. That could. That actually makes sense. It kind of does. He is very dedicated. He's very dedicated to his family and to his work. So perhaps, and oh, that's a, that's gonna be a An oath ability of for. I was gonna say oath of the crown. Thinking oath of glory. Oh. He doesn't do it what he does for the glory. He does what he does to support the family that he has. His mom's always say, Go get some more jobs! Go make some more money! Okay, mama. Despite being a multimillionaire himself. I know, right? 14 billion a year! <laughs> I still actually... Man, I would actually love to do a, a, um, a live reading of the TF2 comics one day here in the Paper Plane Inn. Yes. 
Um, hmm. Like, now that we're off demo, man, um, Snipe is quite easy. He's definitely going to be like a ranger, but a Gloomstalk ranger, to be more specific. You know, I could see it. I could see that. Um, though... Pyro, I'd say Pyro... Pyro... Oh, sorry, go on. Uh, though maybe a ranger rogue mix. Huh? Yeah. Because he says so himself, he's an assassin. What the difference being, what's a job in the other's mental sickness? <laughs> yeah, that would be a good reference. Um, Pyro is an interesting one. Like, I'm thinking Draconic Sorcerer, but, um... Like, the Artillerist does also have access to a Flamethrower, so... Nah. Wizard. Fireball? Fireball. Although, <laughs> he does use that axe a lot, so... In that case... Hmm... Huh, maybe give him... It's not his primary weapon, though. We may That's have true. to Maybe... this whole thing down. I actually got an idea for this. A dwarf wizard. Oh, yeah. That's a lot. Wait, dwarf wizard for Pyro. Pyro. What? Why? They, they get access. Uh, dwarves are magically, I think. I know they get armor proficiencies. I don't know about weapon proficiencies. I'll have to double check. Also, um, I'll show. Oh, I was just going to say, like, Mountain Dwarves, I think it's Mountain Dwarves, they get heavy armor prof proficiency. Mm -hmm. Although, mm -hmm. spells, I think you're referring to the mo the Abron marks. So, I'm going to have to give that a decent check. Mm -hmm. My ears picked up a, th a sound. Oh, that's me. Sorry. No, a snapping I, finger. no that sounds like um, Steve just got back. Oh. Huh. Yes, the man is home. Oh. Hey! Hi. Hi! Hi! Hey! It's here! What would that be? Okay, now don't get mad. But. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, I like yours! I know you do. I like you yours! Give me a roll, lucky five. Up. Oh. oh. Okay, so we're doing this again, but Steve is not with me with right now. So, well, he's more like he's not. Uh, up. <laughs> okay, here he goes. Ah, okay, I almost dropped my die. Well okay. Done. Anyway, I'm gonna hop into my computer and uh, decompress a bit. All right. So let's see. One is um. <laughs> One is JC, two is Afton, three is Dave, four, I'm turning into a plushie, and I'm going into the jar. Ooh, that's a good sign. Next! Come on, number four. Sorry! Boom. Dave, you're going... Ag Again? No! Huh? I'm, no! I, I, I said... I, I'm trying to say Dave goes... You're coming back. Uh, Hello. JC. I'm oh, me. so sorry. Hi, and the last word. Hope you're Dave. not. Hmm. Oh, boy. There you go. That's your last. Tom's in the front yard. Tom's in the front yard? Yeah. Want to go say hi? Actually, um, how about we actually use this moment to take a break? We'll be back. We'll have an intermission in 10 minutes, okay? All right. Sounds like a Okay. All right. See you guys soon. See ya.
Oh, yeah. the problem. Let's see. And then a little bard hat makes you play healing music when you fire them. <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on here? Not sure. Hmm. Mm. Anyways, um, thank you guys for waiting for me to come back after that little break. Um, I hope you guys actually um, use this opportunity, use that opportunity to stand up and stretch your leg. Bless you. Damn. Okay, hold on a second. Oh no. Are you okay? Holy cow. Yeah. Your allergies. Uh, yes. It's winter. But, I mean, if I don't blow my nose anytime soon, it's go I'm gonna end up having a Gatling gun of sneezes, and I know you guys deserve better Oh than my that. god. <sighs> the imagery of that is not just now. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm good. I'm okay. 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 No, said. No pressure. Hey. Joking. Hmm. So yeah, um, I didn't guys, I didn't keep you waiting, uh, you guys, right? I mean, nah. I didn't keep you guys waiting, right? No, yeah, we're just having a nice. You are absolutely yeah. fine, Mickey. Don't right. worry. Alrighty then. Yeah. I may have to like leave soon because of the level 20 game, but they won't come to like. One of them's running late, so I, I got a bit more time. More time but, to um... prep or more time to. Oh, everything's prepped already. I have. I kept. I made sure I had a HP track on everyone. Oh! Hmm. I think after um, later today, I'm definitely need to get myself rest well rested because tonight is the. Continuation of the D and D Mario game that uh, I mean Mario game that I'm a part of, and oh yeah, we're in the middle of a Hydra fight. Oh, oh. we're in the middle of a Hydra fight. <laughs> oh, um, I was gonna ask, were you like, did Jay get the upload things so I can? Um, you mean the playlist for the Mario ga campaign? Yes. Well. It Good thing that you actually asked that, because I'm the one who actually, um, has the cap- the- it, well, the playlist can be available in my, uh, in my stream archive channel. Okay. Which... I was only asking because I, like, I've kept saying that I was gonna keep up on it because of, you know, the time zones on our end. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I need to watch it. <laughs> Yes, Jetsa Dragon. I see Pyra as a wildfire druid or evocation wizard, cause um, mainly cause of the well uh, of fire. Yeah, I also see um that them as an evocation. I also see them as an evoca um, not evocation wizard. I see them as a wildfire druid, but I know the guys actually have something else in mind. Anyways, to answer your question, uh, Afton, this is the playlist so far. I. And I believe the recent one has finally added into the play into um the recent bot is now added into the playlist. And for those who are actually okay. curious, um I am part of a D&D campaign that is actually a, a homebrew campaign where we play as uh, Mario characters into a, an adventure. It's basically a, a, a Super Mario D&D &D campaign. You can actually catch this playlist here. And you can actually see, and you can actually catch, um, for those who actually missed out on that campaign, if you want to know what the beginning is like, there you go. I play as Violet, nice. um, Violet, um, Heliotrope, who is an Amethyst dra Dragonborn. And the rest of our party consists that of a monk, a fighter, a warlock, and a rogue alongside with that. Very martial. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. I don't know what I'm actually going to be doing for this kit. Uh, I definitely need to th um, think a, a little bit more on what should I prepare for this game campaign. 
And afterwards, probably after, as soon as we're done with this arc, we're most likely gonna be on a winter, on, on a holiday break. <laughs> Not that I don't mind, but it does give me more time to um, prep for our future events to come. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'll let you go, Afton. Oh, don't worry. I don't need to go for quite a bit, which is a oh, good thing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my bad, then. Did you think I was leaving now? Yes! <laughs> I am so sorry! <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about us, sir. Whose Discord is pinging in the background? I demand names. That will be me and my Wednesday group. You know, the one with the skull bowing. Ah, okay. Imagine I need to put that just when I mentioned. There we go. Imagine uh, actually being shrunk down and then make armor wep uh, and weapons out of bug parts of all things. Uh... <laughs> I think that there's some... I think it can be done when it comes to certain campaigns or certain mechanics. Second. Most of the time, it's a. Um, I think that's something you could definitely do in homebrew. I don't know. There is a. That does exist. A Tarask size insect. Oh. What? What? But that's in. That is in the. Um, one of the kickstarters I have, which is made by Loot Tavern, one of the kaiju bosses is a tarask sized insect. No, thank you. you! No! Wait, wait, wait. No! Wait, wait. Let me explain. One of its items is a full plate of armor that you can cast and lodge on yourself with. And it stacks. I'm sorry, what? Let me find the name of this item. Well, uh, okay. Like I, I knew, I, I know that some people aren't a huge fan of bugs. I will admit that. Oh God, please. I mean, don't get me started on what happened in yesterday's campaign when, um, when it comes to the Spelljammer campaign. I will look, not ask. Let's just say it's enough. Um. Let's just say the monster was enough to actually um, flood the rest of the art chat with with cute pictures to help us not look at it for long periods of time. I. Uh, I... All right. Ah, here it is. It's called Titan's Plate. Titan Plate. Mm, this is. Essentially, uh, let me get like the art of it up. Um, just to know, I do have access to the Patreon for it, which is why I know about it. In fact, no, not the Patreon. Um, it was on their Instagram channel, that's why. Well, so they have like the image and like what it looks like. So, in fact, yeah, I'll just send you the link for the Instagram post. Makes it a whole lot easier. Fair enough. Okay, maybe I might be strong enough to actually talk about this. Um story and are you are you sure for those who actually are arachnophobic i am i i am so sorry for your for the story you're about to hear i sure am though okay <clears throat> so yesterday's campaign when it comes to the spell jammer um uh, when it comes to spell jammer group and for those who are not in the know spell jammer is basically D, &D but in space anyways <clears throat> We were actually on our way to get to the, ourselves into the library of the old gods. And that is where, and it takes us um, several days into traveling through the astral sea, where we actually made a discovery of a very peculiar but haunting site. And that site was um, a mass, a mass um, spell jammer graveyard. Where ruined ships and asteroid fields that are actually uh, and asteroids that are scattered along around the, um, the astral sea. It took us some level of planning and figuring out on what to do, especially um, with our druid telling us that there's a possibility that we might find loot into the 
in, into this, um, into the ruined ships that are left behind. So, after finandling about and planning on what to do, we, we decided to get, get closer to investigate. David, who is Steve's character, decides to go into a um, closer look and spotted an asteroid that is very, very off. And it gave him an... Because it started to move and shift. David started, David's feet, gut is started to drop when he saw that it starts to produce spider-like legs. As he... As the <laughs> monster that we had to fight at that time was an asteroid spider. And we had to endure a horrific thing that came towards us. That's... That's... Uh, oh. I'm letting you all suffer with me. Y'all are going to have to <laughs> suffer with me. So it's basically this. I will have to take a look. Um, oh, huh. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, but not to, the, not to those who are arachnophobic, they aren't. I mean, I could say I was a little bit, but after holding a, after a little bit of exposure therapy. Huh, but, uh, but yeah, we had to endure um, a straw. We had to endure a combat in order to fight fight off this thing so we could actually get through um, this um, we had to get through well nice and easy it doesn't help that it also ha has the um, its web attacks where it reels um, party members in so it can actually bite them Ugh. and mind you we're all level 11 in this event well, in this adventure adventure but this is a tough fight Eventually, uh, we managed to defeat it, but wait, we managed to defeat it as its body starts um, floating across the astral sea at that point. And no, we did not get any spider silk from it. Kind of a shame, though. Would have actually been one heck of a loot to grab. But, ugh. I, um, uh, I swear, when I looked up this image, um... I made the mistake of sh sharing it to the chat and not put a spoiler tag on it. Mickey, I, you're I, kind I, of I'm a bit of a lag on your end. Am I, am, I, am, I, am I lagging? Is it that bad? Yeah. Um, you're kind of like cutting in and out, or is that on, on me? I thought that was just on my end. Yeah, uh, I thought it too. You're fine now. Okay. Um, how much um, did I cut off? Uh, also, I... Quite a bit. Oh, eh? So, um, I just put the, I just posted the Titan plate in the thing, and that's, and that's essentially one of the items you can create from that, well, Tarask size insect, <laughs> which weirdly enough bites other kaiju. Wait, really? Let me take a good look. I mean, at this. if you. Okay, Discord is taking a while for it to load. Really? Oh, there it is. That's Titan Plate? That is what you get from the creature. Huh. And if you have it, you can essentially... It holds... Like, this is just normal rare. But it does have an uncommon version. A very rare version and a legendary version. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Um, Loot Tavern likes to have their um, items vary in rarity. Like, um, a normal rare one has three charges, and you can expend all, and regains all of them after, well, day at dawn. Essentially what you can do, as a bonus action, you, char you expend one charge, and you enlarge yourself. While under the effects, you can, exp you can do another bonus action, to ex enlarge again. What? How so much... every charge of Titan Plate. Hmm? I was gonna say, how much charges? How much? How big can you, uh, can you possibly go? Gargantuan. Uh, oh! Oh! Okay. Um, but like, 
by the looks of things, um, like Uncommon only has two, the very rare has, well, three charges, most like the rare. Legendary gets, oh my goodness, the charges increase to six. Why do I actually hear, uh, see that one image from Terminal Montage when Bowser gets bigger and bigger? Yep, that's, it's ba pretty much that. <laughs> oh, that is, um, that's a bit of a terrifying thought. Like, imagine giving that to the Goliath, like your, like your main martial character. <laughs> that would be horrifying. Uh, oh, I bet! We would have a really awesome ride, though, for you to get yourself onto the monster. So, let's see... What do you think of this one so far, um, JC? Oh, that is looking really good. We're pretty much in the refining stage of this um, line art. I, I apologize, it's taken a little bit of a while for it to finish. It's just that this no, one no, has a lot of... All. There's so much details in this one, so... Yep. Don't worry about it at all. The snow stopped? Um, I am so sorry to hear that. Snow is actually really pretty. Mm-hmm. Even though we're starting to have, like, ice slips here. I would actually love to see snow again. Like, uh, we need the snow. Yeah? You know, another thing that also comes to mind when, I, uh, when I'm designing this guy, I can't help but actually feel like, um... Been reminded when it comes to For Honor, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Am I the Wait, only is... one? Hmm? Like, isn't For Honor the one where, um... I forget. Isn't that where you can, like, play as all those different types of medieval, um... Like, warriors again? Where you actually have a chance to either play as a knight or soul, um... A knight, a viking, or a samurai? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Part of huh. me really wants to play For Honor for the plot. I know. So, oh, what did I tell you? <laughs> I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> Ebony and Evie lust watching the snow fall from my bedroom window. And, the, and I saw that image you posted in the end, and they actually look really... They look, they, they look so... Um, they look so happy when seeing the snow. But I will say this. Had it not been for, for Honor, I would not be able to actually make Runa, if you will. Wait, Runa come, is inspired by For Honor? Well, yeah. Um, when it comes to the, um, ser ser um, the Serpent Sea campaign, you know, the Viking campaign I've been, t I've been talking about for a while, initially, yep. my, my, initially my plans for starting off with that game would be, um, would be playing off as, uh, as Maeve, my satyr, but, um, it wasn't until like uh, when I was doing some research when it comes to Viking that I actually come across um, a clip of For Honor or a segment from For Honor about the Vikings versus the Samurai. And that planted the seed to actually say, you know what? I actually want to design something different now. I actually wouldn't mind bringing, up, bringing in a Viking Shrine Maiden. That is a bit of a... Uh, it may sound a little bit oxymoron-ish, but um, it's it's this character is kind of like um, a result of two different cultures. So I am um, I was a little bit anxious at first on bringing this character in because this is Oriental and then Viking. That was until I actually did some reading when it comes to the module that there. That there's a thing called epic backstories and in epic backstories one of them is called the stranger where um the base where the basics rundown is 
you're um, trying to do your own thing, getting back to your home country when the magic rainbow that was created and it transported you into the land of, that is where the Serpent Sea campaign is at. And now you gotta figure out a way on how to get yourself back home. That is the ba epic backstory that they provided. So upon reading that, I just ha I just immediately can't wait to t um, talk about this with Kiza, who's the runner of the ga game. And that morning, when he's actually on and we're waiting for the rest of the players, I literally just said, Kiza, I've come to bargain! <laughs> and... I am so actually glad that um, after reading this out, Runa is actually accepted into the campaign. Which I don't think I actually rem I don't think um has anyone else here remember what she is what she looks like? Um your other character is a very like a red haired satyr mm -hmm. or red furred satyr. Mm -hmm. Like a mm -hmm. burgundy red. Yep. While Runa is more like, I would say it kind of has the um, Gambeson or Mongolian-ish style armor, if I'm not mistaken. She's, it's, it's not, actually, um, it actually is still the same Japanese like armor, but I, I added in the, um, the furs uh, in there to implement the Viking um, half of her heritage. Okay. Because mm, there's a specific name for the Japanese style, but I forget it. I also, uh, the name also escapes me uh, right now. I just wish I could remember it too. Hmm. Okay, so we've been streaming here for uh, um, almost two hours. We've been streaming for two hours now, but so far we're almost done with it when it comes to refining the inks. I, um, I appreciate that you guys waiting for me to actually finish this because um inking does take up a lot of time than it should especially yeah. when you have characters who are in the most detailed fashion when it comes to their armor <laughs> i mean armor is really hard to do it it does i mean especially when you have to implement it, i think if anything rendering armor is harder for me to do Because I still, um, believe it or not, I'm actually, I'm actually struggling to actually get re to render, to get the rendering done right. Hey. Hey, it's okay, JC, you know? Yeah. Okay. But I'm actually glad that you're liking the progress of this so far. Of course. Excuse yep. me, uh, my microwave's done. <laughs> Alrighty. Mickey, did I you see- I made myself e some ramen. Oh! By the way, Mickey, did you see Ebony's picture? You mean the one in the, um, in the, in the animal section of the inn? I'm... I think I may have to restart my computer a little bit later. It's starting to show a little bit- it's starting to be a little bit laggy. Oh, I just saw the picture. It's the, it's basically them creeping around me. It's like they're hiding behind the curtain and they're looking straight at the camera. Oh, I okay. know, it's so cute. <sighs> Reminds me a little bit of Cole, you know. How are they doing? Cole is fine, but he likes to stay. Um. He really likes to uh, rough play when it comes to Joe, though. Uh, especially since it doesn't help that Joe is also on heat as we speak. Oh no. Like, um, I would like to ask, like, uh, have fixed. they been... Hmm? Hole is fixed. I was just... Okay. Just... Always have to ask. <laughs> I mean, trust me, um... I told Joe whenever she's having her meows because she's in heat, and I keep telling her, Joe, I'm sorry, I can't help you in that part. Cole doesn't have his lump of coals anymore. <laughs> J 
He is two years old and adorable. Evie is five years old and she goes nuts in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that tracks when it comes to cats. Ah, the benefits of being a dog person. I still like dogs. It's just, I'm just more inclined to cat person. I'm, I'm more inclined to be That's a cat true. person. Okay. I mean, hmm? I was just going to ask, like, why? What, who would not want to wake up in the morning and, give me a second, let me get into the correct thing, and not want to see, like, waking up to this at the side of your bed. And no, like, this was when I was last home. So I had to, I have to take as many dog pictures as I can. I woke up that morning, and that's what I got. Hold on, hold on. I'm just currently working on this. I know that tomorrow we got ourselves the, um, the Monster Hunter game, but maybe it's just me who did so much testing around when it comes to 7th Stand user. I really want to play that again, too. <laughs> how, how did that go, actually? Oh, um... It actually, uh, well, there was a lot of pe there was a lot of, despite the hiccups and there's a lot of distractions, um, the game actually, it was pretty fun, it's actually pretty fun to play that again. Especially with the fact that, um, let's see, especially given the fact that, um, uh, especially given the fact that it's, uh, everyone gets to see that one segment where Jotaro and, uh, Naomi have to fight, um, together in order to stop Kakyoin. And here's a question I have to ask. Mm hmm Was the great Dio there ever present other than that simple bit that we blessed upon them? Aside from the prologue? No, he hasn't shown up again. Hell oh, curses. Let's <laughs> but I will say this, um, I really, really want to play Seventh Stand User again. I really do, but I'm trying my best to fight off against that urge. Like, you want to keep yourself surprised. No, but you more also... like I want to keep myself restrained. Because I've already played the game. It has been, but it has been over five years since I've actually got to play it again. So I'm trying my best to not um, give in to temptation and continue where I left off from there without streaming it. Because that'll be rude. I don't want to do that to my friend. I don't want to do that to my viewers. Mm -hmm. Not since they... Um, but I will say this, um, doing some more testing around when it comes to that game, I did notice that there's a, a, a thing or two that definitely needs um, some tweaking. Okay, so... Um, I may have to get going now. It is time for my hunters to finally to commit deicide. Oh boy. Well, Day aside meaning like kill a god, but still. Ah, okay. <laughs> like it it's literally the title of the hunt. Well the title of the adventure. And I will type it out just so people what it is. Um let me just put it in the chat. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I just need to work on um Wait, is that how His you spell it, or there. am I... Yeah. Like, I need to check this again, because I have not run Steinhardt in, like, almost two weeks. <laughs> I've been busy with everything else. Well, you're, um, you're a university student, you know? That also takes priority. Yep, um, which, while that's happening, I'm trying to find gigs as well. Um, did I say it right? Okay, um... Oh, that's... that came out wrong. Yeah, I spelled it right. I was... I was very worried then. <laughs> uh, but, um, 
I shall be getting going now. Well, admit, JC, uh -huh. this piece looks really good. Well, mm -hmm. like from how they're looking. And Mickey, you're doing amazing with the inks. Thank you. I just, uh, <sighs> I really need to actually um, learn how to draw a little bit faster, but at the same time, well... Hey, hey, huh? you can't rush art. Yes. yes. Yeah, this is Wait. true. You can't rush art. Ain't that the truth. Alright. <sighs> like, I need to watch Toy Story 2 again, but still. <laughs> okay, that needs to be bigger. I shall Bigger. see you all later then. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your evenings. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Say that out. And then there were three. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So, let's actually fix up the rest of this inks. Let's actually turn that off a bit and. I guess that looks pretty good. I love it. All right. Normally I don't do this, but let me try to um, correct the line width when it comes to um, when it comes to this. Some areas are gonna be a little bit thi um, thicker because that's how I do. I do appreciate that you guys actually watch this progress from start to finish. It means a lot to me that you guys can actually see this. Always happy to be here. <sighs> Should I risk it for a biscuit tomorrow, though, on making two different kinds of streams? Being uh... two streams in one go? Mm -hmm. Do you have the energy for that? I mean, well, maybe it's because I'm still feeling the urge to actually play 7th Stand user again. <sighs> and that shit is strong. It's it's it has the it has the biting force of a pit bull's of a pit bull's bite. Uh, again, I I understand, but again, I suppose maybe another way to word the question is: Do you have it in you to go another round? <laughs> I mean, I could try. I, I, I mean, I could, I can actually try. I just need proper rest in between. That's all. Well, right, yeah. Then that begs the next question: How much time between the individual streams do you gonna give yourself to prep? Hmm. <sighs> I mean, you know, that's a fair point. Okay, so. Just thinking of the. Uh... Of the uh, technicalities involved in making sure this works. Okay. We shape the future, we mold the present, and we endure the past. That actually, that actually sounds pretty good. Okay. Now for this part, flats. Okay, and yeah, some of these areas here are not in the right colors, especially the accessories, but they will be done in due time. I think we can go as far as designing flats for this guy. Okay, so I'm in the right pen. But speaking of endurance, there is one painful endurance round that I am on the fence on, on streaming, a, a streaming for, I mean, on playing mm -hmm. for the sake of streaming. Hmm. And that's, um, playing Darkest Dungeon, if you will. Oh. Ah, a classic. I managed to play the game onto, um, the Switch, so I, because I'm, I've heard about it and I'm curious about it. And I finally did get to play it and only uh, and learn very quickly that there is a very good reason why this game is kind of like, um, 
really has a way of testing out your um, will and not feel so sad about the heroes that die in it. But yeah, yeah. Um, it would be really nice to actually play that again, but it comes with a bit of a twist. Uh -oh. That bit of the twist is the one that I'm on the fence on playing this game. I mean, playing it for streaming. Okay, oh. okay. Um, now, when it, when starting off Darkest Dungeon, there you you start off with two heroes, um, the Crusader and the Highwayman, or as what the uh, as what the community would like to call them, Renald and Dis and, and Dismas, if you will, because that's their official names. Um. Oh. There's this one event. There's this one um, achievement in in the game that um, where you guys, where if you actually let these two survive until the end of the campaign, well, you got that achievement, and I want to get myself that achievement. But the thing okay. is, though, is that um, Darkest Dungeon is it can be very brutal if you're not if you don't know from your left from your left nut to your right f pinky because um the monsters there um the monsters there are not pushovers if you will and it is a mm. time and it is a um a resource management game by using your heroes uh, to, on that part but yeah i want to get myself this achievement but the caveat is that if either Dismas or Renault or either of the two died, then I'm going to have to restart the game all over from scratch to in order for me to get Ooh. that achievement. Yes. Do this you might be a rage-inducing thing, just so you know. I know. Hence why I'm hesitant on this. I mean, it's worth a try, right? <laughs> I agree. I'm just saying you need to be aware, aware of that. I know. I believe in you. As do I. Thank. You. Plus, um, I I say this because I couldn't help but think back on seeing the pro um the promotional stuff when it comes to um Darkest Dungeon, to um. Darkest Dungeon 2, if you will. A game that I really wanted to actually play, but then I remembered. There's this little thing of, of, a, of a choice they've made that is called putting it into the Epic Game Store. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it either. A good chunk of the people are not a huge fan of it either. Oof. Wait a minute. Ah, let's see. Wait. I'm in the I'm in the wrong layer. Uh, okay, I'm in the wrong layer for the fur. Okay. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I fixed it. So yeah, but what do you think of this one so far? It's coming together. Mm-hmm. It definitely is. Mm. Ugh. Okay, so if you wanted to apply a color that like looks more in tune with actual like gold, then by all means. Huh? Cause I because that um I know that color of gold seems like I don't know, like a bit I don't know what is it, um Underwhelming? Not underwhelming, it's, um, too vibrant, I would say. Ah, so... Okay, dealer's choice in I... fixing this, gotcha. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna change it to a different color, then by all means. Alrighty then. Okay. I, I can... give you that choice. I noticed that some of the furs in uh, that some of the furs are, have a different shade of color compared to the ones on the belt and. Uh yeah, they're supposed to be like a little darker to contrast with the hair. 
Okay. Then I guess that's, um... Because, you know, the, there's the, the fur lining, so... Okay. I, I guess I'll figure, um... I think I'll figure out what to do. I'll, I'll figure something out what to do. I think. Okay. I trust you. Hmm. <clears throat> I think we'll go as far as, as to doing the, um... I think we'll go as far as doing the, the line art of this, uh, the, I mean, the flats of this guy, and then that we'll, we'll, we'll call it a, a day for there. Okay. Okay. What are, what are his markings on his face, by the way? I, oh, I get that um, one of them's a scar, but what's with the blue pigment? Those are clan markings. Ah, uh, war paints. Yep. Okay, okay. Because you, you can't have a barbarian without war paint. Fair, fair. So, I think I'll have to put these uh, markings and bunch in a different layer. Probably. Okay. So, I'm almost done with this. And now for the hammer. I mean, axe, axe, axe! Why did I say hammer? Oh, okay, that is, um... Oh, dear. Okay, <sighs> we'll most likely do flats for now. Is that okay? Yes. I'll take care of the rest of this one after my break and, well, most likely after the D&D campaign. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind at all. Thank you. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that and... I'll most likely go to fix this one too later down the line. Wait, fix what? The, um, the roping, uh, the bindings on the, onto the, uh, onto the axe. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotcha, okay. Yep, yep. yep, 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 yep Sounds good. Yep, 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 Ah. <laughs> Why the wrong layer? Well, um, sometimes you gotta be careful on when it comes to, when it comes to doing digital art. Yeah, um, you can't easily um you you can't easily make the mistake in drawing your things in a different in a, in a different layer than the ones you're supposed to be doing. And boy, does that actually um. That can be a little bit uh that that can be a little bit awkward when that does happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. What does the rest of that look like? Uh, also onto the okay. The fuck? That I I I just heard something I think I heard I heard something, um, I heard a thud outside. I think I summoned something oh in the house. Uh-oh. Maybe check on Steve. Um, yeah. I'll do that as soon as I'm done with this. Well, it sounds like Steve is doing fine. Okay, carry on. Mm. Okay. Alright. I think I'll do the rest of this later. But what do you think of this Doki. so far? Oh, it looks beautiful. It looks it looks actually so much better in in, in the style in it. Mm-hmm. All right, the rest of the body scars and and war paint will most likely be done, um, post stream. But until then, I um I'm tired. I want to make myself something to eat and rest. Yeah, go and do that. Mm-hmm. Let's see. 
You know what? Since Fairbanks actually um appeared to us uh, earlier, why don't we actually go and raid them? Okay. I didn't even realize they were live. I, I didn't realize they were live too, but you know what? Why not? Why not? All right, let's go. Let me go ahead and make this um, raid message. There we go. And we are gonna go ahead and raid Fairbanks. I truly appreciate that you guys came by here today and watching me draw. Tomorrow we're gonna have some shenanigans when it comes to um, Monster Hunter World. Maybe, just maybe, we might end up wrapping things up with a plot. I don't know. Who knows? But until then, this is where I'm gonna call it here. I need to go lay down for a little bit, and then I'm gonna go make myself some dinner before um, I get myself ready for the Mario D&D campaign later tonight. But, okay, yeah. Okay. I truly appreciate that you guys came by here today. Um, until then, may y'all have a good night. May y'all eat well and rest well. And I'll see you guys next time in the Paper Plane Inn. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.